cable internet is dead. And if it's alive and well where you live, it should be dead. It's an antiquated piece of technology that's run by companies that don't do it very well in the first place. Today, I am giving you three reasons why you should make the switch away from cable. But if cable is your only option, well, my condolences. But I'll be giving you a few different ways to figure out if you have other options in your area because maybe switching to another cable provider might be just what the doctor ordered. I'm Sherry, your telecom expert with Whistle Out. Let's jump in. Look, I am in a huff about cable internet because cable companies take advantage of customers because they know we need the internet now more than ever. And for the most part, cable internet companies have cities cordoned off. So one company has one section, one company has the other. They don't fight against each other. It is the worst thing for consumers, but we need the internet. So we let them take advantage of us because we need to stay connected to loved ones or we work from home or we just love to doom scroll and make ourselves anxious right before bedtime. Either way, we need the internet. But if you have the option to switch, you should. So here are three reasons to switch away from cable. And if I had it my way, you switch to fiber or you switch to 5G wireless home internet, which is absolutely crushing it. Reason number one to make the switch is cost. Cable companies don't even pretend to be on the consumer's side these days. They will raise the price every year, but trap you in with a first really great low price, but then increase it by 70 to 30% every single year. Now I live in Southern California. You can guess which cable provider I have. We started out the first year of our cable at $50 a month not too shabby with a free modem rental. How could we say no? Then the next year, one year later, it shot up by 70%. It went from $50 a month to $85 a month. Then year three, which is when we canceled, they shot it up to $115. Excuse me? No, 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 no. I would much rather use my cell phone hotspot than pay that much for some internet speeds that were pretty crappy anyways. Which brings me to point number two, cable internet speeds are in the dump. For what we pay as cable customers, the speeds should be way better than they are. We're getting absolutely ripped off. For that cost from 50 to 85 to 115, we kept the same speeds. We had 500 Mbps down and 10 up. Yeah, that's right. 10 Mbps up. It was miserable and we were paying so much money for crappy speeds. For that cost for fiber or even a different cable company or even wireless internet, your speeds are through the roof. Through the roof. It blows my mind that cable companies can get away with charging that much money for those small speeds. Now this takes me to point number three. We're talking customer service. You cannot tell me that anytime you call your cable company, you don't leave with a headache and need to grab a drink or need to have some comfort food or watch some trash TV to get yourself centered again. I know I do. When I went to cancel my service, I should have meditated beforehand because it was such a complicated process to say, I don't want this anymore. I don't have a contract, cut it. They did everything they could short of lowering the cost of the plan to get me to stay. Now let's compare that to when I signed up for service with Verizon Wireless for their 5G wireless home internet. They gave us our own rep who gave us his phone number, who was texting us every step of the way, basically holding our hands through the process, sending us set of videos and making sure everything was going perfectly according to plan, even getting us a secondary gateway way when the first gateway just didn't work properly. Can you imagine a cable company customer service doing that? <laughs> no, it's not happening. It's not possible. It doesn't work like that. Now, for those of you who only have cable as an option or maybe satellite as a secondary option, which is just as bad, I feel for you. But there may be options. I was in the same situation. I was searching Verizon and T-Mobile every week to see if their home internet had come into our area. And thankfully one week it had. So don't give up hope. Continually search to see what options you have. And if you're not sure what options you have, you can check your address and what your options are on our website at whistleout.com. Head there, type in your address, and we will let you know every single option available. So if you at least can't get away from cable, maybe you can switch providers 
and get a better deal at least for one year. What do you think of cable? Is it dead? Do you agree with me? Should it be dead? I'm Sherry, your telecom expert with Whistle Out. Let me know what you think in the comments.